Hello everyone, this is your Sunday evening KRQE.com webcast. Here's Ian Schwartz with a quick look at the forecast. Hey Tim, a very busy weather day out there. Albuquerque, Santa Fe, Espanola. We had some flash flooding going on. Northeast New Mexico, Raton getting nailed. We're going to try to do it again tomorrow, expecting thunderstorms on tap for a good portion of us. Areas we're going to look to flooding are going to be the central mountain chain and west. Also, the possibility for some severe weather once again in the northeastern part of the state. As we get into the middle of the week, we'll kind of tone down storm chances for a lot of us, but we'll keep chances going in the uh, higher terrain. Albuquerque, good chance for thunderstorms heading into tomorrow. Your Monday is going to be a little bit cooler. Rain on tap, 91 Tuesday. Storm chances die down, and we turn up the heat. We're looking at low 90s for the rest of the week. Tim? Thank you, Ian. New details in the case of a man suspected of peeping on women inside Albuquerque restrooms. This is surveillance video obtained by News 13 today of the suspect inside the Target store at Paseo on I-25 Thursday morning. The man is shown entering the restroom area where he allegedly peeked over a restroom stall in the ladies' room. When confronted, the man explained he was looking for his wife. The video shows the man leaving the store after Target employees approached him. A license plate number taken off the suspect's vehicle helped police identify the suspect is David Bloodworth, a man accused of similar crimes in Tucumcari, out of state, and possibly in Rio Rancho as well. He's also suspected of targeting the ladies' room at this sunflower market yesterday at San Mateo and Academy. If you have any information to help police, call 242 COPS. Investigators would also like to hear from possible victims. A troubled Albuquerque apartment complex still has the attention of city safety inspectors. The gas is on, but water heaters inside 13 units at the Mountain Vista apartments are showing high levels of carbon monoxide. New heaters could be installed as early as tomorrow. One of the units is red tagged because of concerns with extremely high levels of carbon monoxide and mold. The unit is the only apartment still without gas. Resident Antoinette Fazio told us yesterday life inside that unit has been a nightmare lately. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Tim Maestas. Thanks for logging on.